Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today in this video, we're going to discuss Gypsy Rose's latest uh, little uh, cute little video she posted, her Barbie girl video on Instagram. And, um, and ask again, where is the advocacy she was going to do? And, and, and the advocacy, she may have even said she was going to advocate for victims of people with Munchausen by proxy to the parole board at her parole hearing, you know? In fact, it's very likely she said that. It's very likely she said that. So yes, it is time to piss off the ethically challenged and uh, discuss this. And yes, I am calling her followers, the people who butt worship her um, ethically challenged because they are incapable of thinking. They, they, they see like this. They see a, a little girl. We're supposed to all feel sorry for for her, and uh, that's just not happening here. Um, I do feel bad for what she went through as a very young child, but she went through it until she didn't. Okay, and um, so we're gonna just start talking. Um, she needs to take responsibility for her crime, which yes, she had to do during her parole review. But I mean, in life, she she says she takes responsibility, but then she immediately, I don't identify as this, you know? I mean, you are what you are, you committed that crime. Well, you committed a higher crime than that, but you know, the crime you've been convicted of, you know, you are that thing. So, and that's right, I said crime. She's a criminal crime and i know her little baby fans have have an issue with the enlightened pointing that out pointing out the crime and the criminal i know that the little babies have an issue with that um but facts remain facts remain now um we know she's not going back to prison and uh and and you know that's just not going to happen but what i want to see is the advocacy I will stand behind her and be her biggest cheerleader if she starts advocating. But she's not going to do that because she's, she's a selfish, narcissistic little brat. She's just not going to advocate like she said she was going to do. You know? Um, instead, she's going to make cute little defiant videos of her with her bleached ass hair. Acting like she's the cutest thing under the sun. And it is a cute video. She looks very cute in that video. I'm not going to take that away from her. And she has every right to feel herself and feel good about herself and feel happy. But there's a time and a place for everything. And when you just got out of prison a couple months ago saying you're going to advocate for victims of people with Munchausen by proxy, do it. Her posts are tone deaf and they're, read the room. Again, read the room, Jip Jip. Um, but she, she's not taking any level of responsibility. And she may have not wanted the responsibility, but when she decided she wanted to have her mother unalived, she took on that responsibility. She sure did. She took on that responsibility. Whether she wants it or not, it is her responsibility to show other people who may be in a similar situation she claims she was in, to show them another way to help them out of the situation. And instead, she's showing people, you know, look, if you, um, you know, if you wanna arrange to have your mother unalive because she's mistreating you, then you'll, one day you'll get necklaces and um, you, you'll be a media success and you'll be huge. You know, that's not gonna happen twice. It's happening to Gypsy Rose because this is an unusual case. It's not gonna happen again. But these little kids or young people that are seeing this and thinking that they're gonna be able to do the same thing because that's what she's telling people. That's what she's telling people with her behavior, what she's showing people on social media, you know. Um, and it, it, she's not taking any level of responsibility. And sh she pled guilty to second degree. And she made a deal because she didn't want details like her shooting Dee Dee 10 times with a BB gun, thinking it would actually kill her because she thought it was a real gun. She didn't want that coming out in court. Um, and she sure didn't want Dan to testify. She sure, sure as hell didn't want him testifying, uh, talking about how they did role playing. And that was before Nicholas, about how she had a little, little bad side to her. They sure didn't, she sure didn't want that said in court, surely. And that's why she pled guilty. 
And now I really don't even have a problem again with Gypsy feeling herself. I don't have a problem with that. And again, I, I think she looks real cute in that video. I know a lot of people disagree with that, but I think she looks real cute. That's not the issue. Being cute isn't the issue. She's she looked cute. Um, that's great. But she is doing this out of defiance. She's doing it out of defiance. And she is doing this. Um, she's not doing one thing for victims of people with Munchausen by proxy. She's not doing one thing for them. She's not advocating at all. She just doesn't care. Um, she's, you know, showing her ass, you know, and, um, and being very juvenile. She's being very juvenile. And I understand a lot of her very early childhood was, was tough. I understand that. I'm I'm having problems seeing my notes because I don't have my glasses on. I guess I could always put them on, but I had complaints about the glare, so I'm doing the best I can. And um, but eventually, you know, she went through what she went through when she was a kid. A lot of her childhood was stolen, but eventually she was in on the con, and you all know it. You all know it. Quit with the cognitive dissonance because you look like fools. You look like fools. Um I'm going to have to wear my glasses. I'm sorry. Uh, she's got no business being married. She hasn't been in the real world at all. She's got no business being married. She's way too immature. Um, she is a little girl who has a lot of growing up to do. But we all know why she married Ryan. But why Ryan? Out of 250 pen pals, he was the best she could come up with. No offense to Ryan. No tea, no shade. But he was the best pick. You know why. You know why that is, right? Because she, she was trying to find the, the one she could manipulate the most. And she thought Ryan would be it. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. See if she's able to manipulate him. It, it's already started. So we'll just see how that goes. I mean, he believes that the sun shines out of her ass. So. Oh, and the, the people who say things like, why are you talking about her? Why, why, why? Leave her alone. She is a public figure. She chose to be a public figure. She could have gone away and, and led a quiet life, at least for some time. But she chooses to thrust herself into the spotlight. She chose this. She chose this. She wants this. She's freaking begging for it. She's begging for it. Um, and and this, this Instagram video, as well as her last post with the necklace, is just showing that all she wants is attention. That's all she wants. She just wants attention. And she doesn't care if it's positive or negative because attention is attention when you're trying to be an influencer. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, but as long as you're getting it, as long as you're getting that attention. Um, if she cared about positive attention, she'd be working on advocacy. That's what she'd be working on. And uh, you know, and she's allegedly so committed to this. I mean, she even calls herself an advocate in her Instagram profile. And she calls herself an advocate. You can't be an advocate if you're not advocating for anything. She hasn't done shit. You know what I mean? Um, I received a really great comment uh, on my last video about Gypsy. Let me, let me get that so I can read it to you. Okay, let me read this comment to you. It's great. This is from Nell Swell. Um, I hope she does, she or he doesn't mind me saying their name, but, um, I mean, they left a public comment, so I hope it's okay. If it's not, let me know and I'll, I'll do something for you. Um, <laughs> I don't know what, um, but their comment was in her latest Instagram post, she's posing in a low cut top and pink shorts and showing off her new dyed blonde hair as Barbie girl plays in the background. It really opened my eyes to the problem of Munchausen by proxy. I love it. I love I love a smart ass. I do. I really do. And um, there was one other comment I wanted to read. It was about that necklace, which was brilliant. Brilliant. And this was from Love Shack Sarah 88. Thank you. Um, it looks like the jeweler missed the letters I-F-T-E in that necklace, which would have spelt grifter. And, um, you know, it is what it is. She is who she is. And uh, we see you, Jip Jip. We see you. And, um, they do. And, um, but I'm really glad people are starting to open their eyes. A lot of people already had their eyes wide open 
before were kind of fans of her while she was in prison building, you know, building, not fans, but followers of her while she was building her social media while in prison. And then they started to see, oh, oh no, she's just going to keep on the grift. And then they figured her out. Millions of people have figured her out. You know, she's still got a lot of followers and a lot of supporters who are very ignorant, sad people. Um, and I'm not shy saying that. I don't care. And I'm not talking about the decent people who uh, just want to see her, you know, do better in life and everything and who, you know, are praying for her and keeping her in their thoughts. I'm not talking about people like that. I'm talking about the people who are just so hell bent on being right about her that Gypsy Rose could probably yet literally stab someone 70 times in the middle of Times Square and they would still be like, oh my God, she makes the world such a beautiful place. Look at all that beautiful red. You know, those people, there's something wrong with them. Her stands. Those people are her victims. They are your, 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 her victims. Your victims of hers. I hope you know that. Um, and they're, they're just licking from her slop bucket. They're just all in it like, <laughs> more, more. They're just lip, licking from her slop bucket. And they don't care that she's a sneaky, manipulative little snake. They have, they, again, they have tunnel vision and they don't see her for what she is. They don't see her for what she is. Um, or maybe they do, but they themselves are so morally decrepit, um, that they, they love that they have someone given them permission to, to end someone or to manipulate someone. That's probably what it is. You're morally decrepit. If you're so hell bent on supporting her, your, your morals are questionable. Um, and I don't excuse Dee Dee for what she's done, but she should be rotten in prison. But Gypsy would be rotten alongside her because Gypsy was in on the con. Um, and Gypsy knows that. She knew that. She thought with the unalivement of her, there might be a chance she'd get away with it. But no, she was in on the con. Yeah. So that's really all I have to say in this video. I'm just... I'm really just disgusted with the world as a whole and whole whatever. And it, it's sad. It's a sad state of affairs really because when when people stand someone who, who not only committed second degree on Aliven, but who is also continuing to be a liar, a manipulator, a snake, a sneak. And I do not think Nicholas Godajohn should be free in the world. I don't think that. He did what he did and he deserves to do time for it. Absolutely. But I don't think Gypsy served enough time. I don't think she paid for the real crime she committed. And, uh, and we know she's not, she's not going back to prison. Like I said, we know that, but she needs to be held responsible. She needs to start being more responsible in her post and she needs to take the responsibility at the advocate they want to see you know her give her followers something to really admire you know she's had chances to turn this all around and, and make herself not a hero so much as just someone that took a really bad situation and now she's gonna make good out of it but she's she's not even trying she's not even trying she's just a defiant little brat and um, we're not going to see any advocacy from her at no point. At no point. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, all you haters, uh, you know, suck it. And I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.